Breaking news on the future of Speaker Kevin McCarthy as Congressman Matt Gates says he's following through with his threat to remove the speaker. I do intend to file a motion to vacate against Speaker McCarthy this week. I think we need to this rip week. off the Band-Aid. I think we need to move on with new leadership that can be trustworthy. And joining me now, Congresswoman Susan Del Bene of Washington State, chair of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. Uh, Congresswoman, uh, welcome back to the Sunday show. Just before we talk about why you're re why you were really here, your reaction to Congressman Matt Gates and saying he's going to follow through on his threat to try to remove the speaker. Well, he's been talking about this kind of constantly this entire Congress. So I guess that's not surprising. Um, it kind of adds to the chaos and dysfunction we've seen from the Republican caucus, this Congress. Um, folks want to see us govern. And unfortunately, this is the Republican Party, chaos, dysfunction and kind of dissent. So that's unfortunate because we've got a lot of work to do. Right. And one of the, re the, the reason why Congressman Gates is threatening the speaker now, saying he's going to follow through on his threat, is because um, not only a clean uh, co uh, continuing resolution was put on the floor, one, and two, it passed with Democratic votes. Uh, now that this threat is looks like he's going to follow through, will Democrats, will you vote to knock down that motion to vacate, to help Speaker McCarthy hang on to that gavel? Well, first, we're going to see what happens uh, this coming uh, time in session uh, and see what he files. But we want to govern. Um, we have important things we get, have to get done. We have to fund the government. We may not be shut down today, but um, we have to make sure the government's funded for the whole fiscal year. We're not there yet. Um, there's a ton of work to do, and we're behind, and we're behind because of Republican dysfunction. So we want to understand what it's going to take to make sure that folks are governing. And frankly, we need strong leadership, and that's a big part of my job is to make sure we have strong leadership, because I think um, Hakeem Jeffries would be a great speaker. <laughs> what, uh, and, and reading up on the, the machinations of uh, dramatic machinations of yesterday, this question came up to uh, a member uh, of the Democratic minority where the question was, would you vote, would Democrats vote to save McCarthy? And the person um, quoted uh, saying, yeah, well, you know, we have to extract a thousand pounds of flesh. What would you want to see from Speaker McCarthy in order for Democrats to even consider helping him in the mess that he's in? Well, we want to govern, and we haven't seen any ability for Republicans to govern. So what's going to take place so that we can govern, mm -hmm. so that we can don't go through the games that we just went through where we ended up on the brink of a shutdown and finally did what we could have done months ago? Um, we could have passed this continuing resolution many, many weeks ago to make sure that we um, could continue to negotiate. But frankly, the fiscal year always starts on October 1st. Um, turns out it does every year. And so we should have been passing appropriations bills in a bipartisan way a long, long time ago. So the key is we need leadership that understands that the only way we get anything done is in a bipartisan way through the House, the Senate. We have to pass bills in the House and the Senate to get them to the president's desk. And so what's going to happen to make sure that we have that leadership?